but we just came into Batumi where we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the United States and Georgia in Ajara. We started the day in Mukai Estate visiting a wonderful community center that the United States Embassy helped the community build. This was through the Ajara Police Community Initiative that took police officers, municipal workers, students, teachers, everybody in the community got together and built this wonderful community center. We also stopped at an incredible wooden mosque. It's one of the few wooden mosques remaining in Georgia. It's from 1860 and it is beautifully carved wood. Now we're in Batumi and we came to see the building, this beautiful building where the U.S. consulate was in 1913. We started the morning visiting one of the Georgian Defense Forces' important bases in uh, western Georgia. Wonderful to meet the soldiers there who are uh, developing specialized skills and working to keep Georgia's borders strong and defended and keep Georgia safe. So we've got the rest of the afternoon. I'll be meeting with some of the government officials, some of civil society. We've just finished a delicious fish lunch after a great uh, visit to the Wondernet Express new terminal at Batumi Port. This is one of the most modern facilities on the Black Sea, thanks to a recent $25 million investment, including US investment um, through the Tramo company. Very impressive operation here that is connecting Georgia with Central Asia and bringing commodities across the Caspian Sea, across Georgia, and on to Europe and really the world. We've just had a fantastic day in the mountainous Ajara region. We're here at the Makunseti Kidi, which is a 9th century bridge and it's just beautiful, so graceful and elegant. We came here primarily to officially open the American shelf in Hulo. This is one of 15 American spaces that we have throughout Georgia, where Georgians can come and learn about America, practice their English, maybe learn some new skills. We also stopped at the Heda Education and Research Center, which has done a lot with our Peace Corps volunteers. And uh, Durham, Shihan, and the um, students and the English teachers told us a lot about the different initiatives that they've been doing. It's all to improve their English. And as a result, Lasha qualified to go on our flex program, exchange program to an American high school, and a different Lasha is going to be going to university in Bulgaria, the very first citizen from Kedda to go to overseas schools. I also had the chance to talk with some very impressive women entrepreneurs. They're part of the Saorsa NGO that was founded by Leah to develop the business skills of women entrepreneurs in this region so that people can stay here in mountainous Ajara and enjoy this incredibly beautiful region, not have to leave to go find a job somewhere else. The mayor and the Sacribulo chair and local officials hosted me to a lovely Supra. They're very generous, warm hospitality. We just came from a great discussion with some students that was hosted by the Rondelli Foundation's Georgian Foundation for Strategic and International Studies. They asked some tough questions. We talked about things like um, America's stalwart support for Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity, Russia's continued occupation and borderization of Georgian territory, we talked about the war, the terrible war that the Kremlin has unleashed in Ukraine and how important it is that countries be allowed to choose their own um, future, their own security partners, and protect their sovereignty. We had a very interesting discussion with the judges at the Batumi City Court this morning, and I'm very grateful for them taking so much time to give to me. We have done so much together over 30 years to strengthen the judicial capacity of Georgia's um, judicial system. We also got a chance to celebrate uh, the birthday of TV25, and uh, I had a good and interesting conversation with the director there about um, the importance of regional media outlets bringing accurate information 
to local commu communities. And then our final stop here in Ajaro was at the Maritime Transport Agency. The director and her team are doing an incredible job modernizing Georgia's tra maritime transport system, digitalizing the, the systems here to ensure transport security, trade security, and a modern, uh, efficient maritime transport agency. So we're very grateful to all of our partners here in the Ajara region for taking time to meet with us during this trip, but really for 30 years of incredible partnership and cooperation. And I look forward to what we're going to be able to do together in the coming years. Madloba, Nakvandis.